why is Warren Buffett all of a sudden buying gold? Warren Buffett's famous for calling gold a pet rock that has no yield. So why is he buying gold? Here's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you right now. That is the national debt clock. And they are creating $1 million of this worthless fiat paper currency every 18 seconds. And Warren Buffett can see that we're headed back to a real form of money. There's a reason gold's been money for 5,000 years, because they can't create it out of thin air, like the Federal Reserve is printing this fiat paper currency. And that is why the price of gold has rallied more than 70% since last year alone, because this is a transition from the failing fiat currency back to a, a money that has a hard cap supply. Now, all we know for sure is the faster they print this fake fiat currency, the faster gold will run. Let's see if they plan on slowing down anytime soon. You characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes. Exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that. There is no end to our ability to do that. And there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. No, guys, you heard that correctly. They have an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve, and they can print it out of thin air whenever they want because they need to bail out the banks. They need to bail out the large corporations. We have never seen debt levels this high in human history. And with interest rates at zero and even negative in some places around the world, central banks have one tool, and that tool is firing up their big money printers of theirs. The only way they can deal with the debt and pay it back in nominal terms is to devalue the currency by printing it into oblivion, and that means they're going to create significant inflation. We have seen this game before, guys. When you artificially increase the money supply of a currency, you're devaluing the dollars, you're hurting the people who rely on and hold that currency every day to buy their goods and services. Every single time that central banks and rogue governments have increased the money supply of a fiat currency, it has led to hyperinflation on every single occasion, and this time will be no different. It doesn't matter if we're in these larger developed countries like Australia, America, all fiat currencies are the same. They're going to end up like Venezuela, as you're seeing, all right, guys? It's going to end in hyperinflation. Now, we understand that all this money printing is going to cause inflation, all right? And the Federal Reserve has not only said they're going to target that 2% inflation rate, but they're going bigger than that, all right, guys? They have created more money in the year of 2020 than the previous 200 years combined. All right, so we know we're headed to an inflationary monetary environment where the fiat currency is going to be devalued because of all the excessive money creation and the increased money supply that we will see. Well, let's have a look at the previous two gold bull markets that we have seen in human history, all right? Gold has had two large bull markets before. In the 1970s, gold had a large 10-year bull market that lasted 123 months, and we saw 1,700% returns. That's huge, guys. In that decade, you were seeing years where the inflation rate was double digits in the United States. Inflation was more than 15% per year in the United States for a couple of years there, guys. That's how gold performs in an inflationary monetary environment, all right? And how about the 1999 to 2011 bull market? How did gold perform? Well, 144 months was how long the bull market went for and we saw over 600% returns in the gold price. Now, towards the end of that gold bull market, we saw the global financial crisis, where a lot of people thought that was the collapse of fiat currency, which it was, and we will analyze why we never recovered from the global financial crisis in following videos here on the channel. But they artificially created $2 trillion of this fake paper fiat currency 
after the 2008 global financial crisis to deal with the massive debt spiral that we would have had. We would have had a huge deflationary shock in the stock market and the housing market, even bigger than we saw if debts were allowed to continue to crash and not get bailed out with the taxpayer dollars, where the Federal Reserve created $2 trillion of this fake paperless fiat currency to save this healthy economy back in 2008, all right? So they injected $2 trillion to keep this Ponzi scheme of a financial system alive. Well, already this year, globally, I think we're up to well over $10 trillion. What do you think it's going to do for gold's bull market if they've created five times more of the paper fiat currency? I'm not telling you we're going to be seeing 3,000% returns, guys, but I'm telling you that is just simply rocket fuel for a gold bull market. And Warren's only just jumped in now. And generally, he's known for being a successful investor and getting in early into the trends. So let's have a look at the current bull market and see how early we could be in the current bull market, which I expect should run for around 10 years, all the way through the year of 2020. And that's the worst case scenario, guys. I potentially see this is the end game of fiat currency. I think the next currency would have to be a currency with a fixed supply, like gold or Bitcoin. Hey, I don't know. That's also for a following video. But so worst case scenario, gold's going to go through a very good decade as all this debt needs to be deleveraged. Now, imagine the gold price if it was backed, if a new currency was is going to have to be created, which I think it is. Imagine if they have to back it with gold. Jesus, I'm telling you, it's sending it well in advance of $10,000 US if that's the case. But let's have a look at the current bull market. Okay, guys, that's part one of the video done. Hope you enjoyed it. In part two, we're going to get a little bit more technical and we're going to be looking at terms such as negative yielding debt and what that $17 trillion of a negative investment What's going to happen when some of those so-called smart investors, what's going to happen when they start to flood assets such as gold and Bitcoin that have a finite or limited supply, I should say? And then we're going to have a look at the actual size of the debt because we have $250 trillion, trillion with a T, dollars worth of debt out there in the globe. So we're going to actually have a look at what that looks like and how many of your lounge rooms we could fill with those trillion dollars. Let me tell you, that's a lot of money. And as you can see, they're printing it. Million dollars every 18 seconds, guys. And then part number three, we're going to get into the fun stuff. And that's all about technical analysis. And we're going to be looking at the charts and where the price of these assets are headed. Stay tuned, guys.